Hey, I wanted to make a short video on how to calculate uh, a future dividend because I keep getting asked this question, especially in situations where you have a, a growth rate that changes. So in this case, you're told that the company just paid a $3 dividend, so we would call that D0, and it's going to grow by 7% for the first seven years. Then it's going to grow by 8% indefinitely, and we've asked you to calculate D8, dividend in year eight. So whenever this happens, you want to start with the dividend you have, right? So in this formula here, this is what you have. So I have D0, and if I multiply it by one plus G to the seven, right, because it's gonna grow by seven times, that'll give me D7, right? If you look at the formula, N plus T, so zero plus seven. So D7, if I just do the math now, is three, that's my D0, multiply it by one plus G, that's the growth rate of seven, to the power of seven. So 3 times 1.07 to the 7 is 4.8173. But I want a D8. Well, I know from D7 to D8, it's going to grow by 8%. So if I want D8, and I have D7 this time, I'm going to grow by 1.08 to the 1. Again, if you forget or if you don't know how to use those formulas, the logic is that it's only going to grow by 8% once between D7 and D8. If you want it to be more technical, seven plus one will give you eight. But I think the logic is a little bit better in this case. So I'm going to multiply this by uh, 1.08. So my eighth dividend is 5.20. Now, the more comfortable you get with this, the more you can start doing together. Now you realize that to find D8, I could have started with D0 multiplied it by 1 plus 0 0.07 to the 7, and then multiply that by 1.08 to the 1. Now, you don't need to do it like this. But if you are comfortable with it, it is a little bit quicker than doing it in steps. Right? I'm starting with D0. It's going to grow by 7% 7 times. Then it's going to grow by 8% one time before I get to D8. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope uh, that it helped.